Hi, welcome to this week's video. Our video this week is going to be a quick demo of a live DVD that I created using the multi-cd.sh script. I just wanted to show a little bit of what's able to be accomplished with this script. You can swing by multi-cd.tuxfamily.org to pick up the script. You can also check the description for this video for a link to their site as well. It's free to download. It's a very small download. You do have to run it within Linux. Uh, essentially what you will do is you will download the script, put it in a directory by itself. You can move live Linux ISO files into that folder, execute the script through the command line, and it will compile a multi-boot DVD or multi-boot CD for you that contains the versions of Linux that you put in the folder. It will go ahead and it will generate the menus for you and basically make it a bootable DVD. So you'll no longer be faced with having to burn a single CD or DVD for every version of Linux that you have. If, you, if you're like me and you have multiple versions of Linux laying around on external hard drives or on CDs or cluttering up your, your actual computer's hard drive, uh, this is a great way to condense it down and save some space. Here I've used the Ubuntu and Kubuntu version 10.04.1 long-term support release. Uh, those are just a couple of the ISO files I had laying around on my external hard drive. As you can see, it created the boot menu for me. I did edit the title up here. By default, I think it says something to the effect of GNU Linux uh, boot menu or something to that effect. Uh, you can edit those menus in a text editor. That's for a later video. Um, I'll also show another video probably next week I'll put up actually how to use the script and have some hands-on using it. Um, but as you can see, you've got a very, very nice little boot menu here. It's simple. Each version of Linux has its own little sub-menu. You can hop in, you can boot right into the live environment, or you can install that operating system. You can check the disk for defects, you can launch memtest. You can even bypass this and go straight to booting from your hard drive if you'd like. Um, we're going to go back to the main menu. As you can see, memtest is also here on the main menu as well. Every version of Linux will have a submenu to this effect. I'm going to go into just the regular Ubuntu uh, with a GNOME user environment. We're going to launch into that. And as you can see, we're greeted with the, uh, the Ubuntu loading screen. I'm using the live ISO that I created within VirtualBox under my Windows XP install. You can also burn this to a DVD and use it as well. But as you can see, we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch into the main system here. And from here, you can go ahead and you can use the operating system just as you would if you're booting the live CD with only one version installed. If you decided you wanted to reboot and launch back into the other version of Linux you have on your disk, like I had Kubuntu, it would be as simple as shutting down or restarting the system and coming back up. I would show that, but I'm using VirtualBox here and it doesn't like uh, doing that for some reason with the, this ISO. So I have burnt this ISO to a DVD and tested on several different machines, and it's worked flawlessly. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to try this out yourself, swing by multicd.tuxfamily.org. Uh, you can check that out in the description for the video. There's a link. Also, if you'd like more information or, or just like to check up and see what's going on, feel free to swing by my blog at techiesmarts.blogspot.com. We'll see you next time.